Also, the Lagos State Government on Monday issued public transport guidelines to operators and passengers to cope for the spread of the coronavirus in buses, cabs, motor packs, and garages. The Commissioner for Transportation, Dr. Friedrich Oladende, said in a statement that the measures were part of the efforts by the government to further pre prevent a statewide spread of COVID-19. He said it's time had become imperative to live with the reality of time because coronavirus in the country, Lagos State, has the highest cases. Henceforth, it is compulsory for all transport operators, companies to sanitize their parks, garages regularly and continuously at least before and after each trip. The Commission also directed that there should be no standing in the bus rapid transit BRT and Lagos Bus Service Limited LBSL bus operations. And joining me live now in the studio is the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, Primero Transport Services Limited, Mr. Fola Tinubu. Thank you very much for joining us on News on the Hour, sir. Thank you very much for having me. And how are you doing today? Uh, well, thank God. We're Good to see you, sir. Yeah. Now, before I go into um, the question of, of the day, let me just start. How has this affected the business so far for you? It's been a very challenging time for us because we've shut down operation for the past uh, four weeks. Yes. And even before that, uh, two weeks before that, Lagos State uh, put some measures in place yes. and it, our revenue went down dramatically. So it's been a very, very challenging time for us as a company. Yes. But, like I keep telling everybody, uh, we can make money, but we cannot replace life. So life is more important than money. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it's challenging, but we'll support Lagos State government in whatever measures they put in place to make sure we, we are all safe. Yeah. Now, interestingly, from tomorrow, Lagosians will hit the streets again, and definitely commuting to that very destination is key in Lagos State. And you are one of the people that, that operate one of the major transport companies we, we have in Lagos. Let's talk about measures and how you see this happening, play, playing out from tomorrow. Well, Lagos State has come up with some guidelines that okay. we are going to follow. Yes. One is that there's no more, there's, there's not going to be any standing in the in our buses. Two, each bus will only carry 20 passengers, maximum, and nobody will sit next to each other. So we will do, uh, do it uh, in a diagonal way. Okay. Okay. Also, we're going to turn off our ACs, so open so that there's uh, cross ventilation, and we will provide our uh, sanitizers for uh, our uh, hand sanitizers for uh, the commuters but we expect the commuters to come with their mask we will not let anybody get onto the buses without a mask okay now it's very critical implementation of these measures is where the concern really is you know and sometimes our government seems to feel to if they pass a law that it solves the problem now the measures have been detected by the legal state government who is going to enforce this when people need to get onto the buses? We will have to enforce it. Okay. Although Lagos State also have some whistleblowers uh, they've put, they've put on, uh, you know, around to, to let them know if we are complying or not. But okay. we will have to enforce it. But at the end of the day, this is meant for all of us, for all our protections. Yes. So we have to abide by it. We have to make sure we make it happen because if we do not, we're going to create a trouble, you know, a problem for all of you know, for all of us down, you know, down the road, and that's what we're all trying to prevent to make sure we don't uh, the spread of the virus is uh, reduced. All right. Now, as a managing director of the firm, you said that the company will not issue short distance tickets as from Monday, saying short distance commuters that wish to use the service must be ready to pay the largest and the longest distance ticket. Explain this to the general public, because many people are going to be there tomorrow who actually want to go this short distance. Now, how is this going to work out tomorrow? Okay, because we can only carry 20 passengers, we've decided to concentrate on the long, uh, longer uh, routes. Okay. So, we, while we will not say no to anybody that wants to take the shorter, uh, short distance, our emphasis is going to be on the long, uh, long distance. Okay. And if you don't mind paying, you know, the 200 naira or 300 naira, then we'll, you know, we'll drop you. But since we can only put 20 pa uh, passengers on the on each bus, we made that decision as a company that let's concentrate on the longer uh, 
distance Distance. route. But again, can't consent should be made in any kind of way, given the fact that we're in a very peculiar situation and people are just coming out from a lockdown where not so much much of money is in place. No, 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 no. we're not saying we're not, we're not not changing our prices. Still the price we normally charge. Yes, okay. It's just that we're not, you know, we're not concentrating on the shorter distances. Which which means there'll be no short distance ticket provided for. Yes. Yes, yes. But, but, Basically, what you know, what it entails is that if you want to go on a short distance, you know, you, you know, short distance, you can either pay the or for the long distance or find alternatives. But our emphasis, our concentration is going to be on the on the long distance route. Yes. Now, also, you also um, said you had scrapped the 100 naira and the 150 tickets for short distances in the meantime and asked commuters to be ready to pay the 200 naira and the 250 or 300 naira tickets depending mm-hmm. on their routes. Mm-hmm. Now, is this in any way to, to minimize? The, the overall cost of servicing these buses, given the fact that you're, you're carrying less than its capacity? Partly. Okay. But with 20 passengers, there's no way you can cover your cost anyway. Mm-hmm. It, look, if we're going to cover our cost with 20 passengers, we have to be charging almost 1,000 naira or more. So there's no way you're going to cover your cost with 20 passengers only. But like I said earlier, what matters right now at this junction where we are is the uh, safety of Of all of us. So we will do whatever we can to make sure we uh, comply with Lagos State Government and also support Lagos State Government. So we go with the 20. But with the 20, you know, going long, you know, charging long distance does not make we're trying to make money because you cannot cover your cost anyway, even with that with that measure in place. So it's not a money making uh, scheme right. for. Us. All right, let's still on the issue of social distancing. Now there, there used to be queues before people mm-hmm. people want to get into this bus, mm-hmm. obtaining their tickets and queuing up. Let, let's start from there. The issue of the queue. How will the queues be managed? Still in light of maintaining social distancing. That is going to be tough, but we are, in fact, when I leave the studio now, we're going to uh, to, to work on that. Okay. But what we have done as a company is we're putting more buses out tomorrow so that that way we can uh, we carry people a lot faster and hopefully that will reduce the crowd. And that's one of the reasons why we said we will not do the short distance also to reduce the number of people at our bus shelter. But we will uh, have a public announcement system, you know, to ask people to keep. And we are also going to be encouraging people to start using cards. So okay. instead of, you know, rushing to buy tickets or something like that, we're going to encourage people to start from tomorrow to start using cards okay. because it's, you know, it makes it a lot easier and faster for everybody. And also it helps with uh, uh, social distance. And it also helps that we're not bunching together. Okay. Now, um, still on social distancing. Now, within the buses, mm-hmm. let, let's talk about the condition of the buses, how passengers will space, the seating arrangement, and what other conditions will be, will be made available as measures within the buses. Like I said, no, we're not going to allow two people to sit next to each other. Okay. So, if, you, if uh, let's say if somebody sits on the uh, left hand side in front, the next person at uh, the next seat will sit on the uh, right hand side. Okay. And then, you know, diagonally that way okay and like i said we we're not going to uh, use the air conditioner so there'll be uh, cross ventilation of you know and we will not put anybody on the buses that does not wear a mask great um okay now let, let's talk about the availability and number of your buses that will be uh, on the road at all times at these times because prior to this time there there were shortages of those buses and one of the shows i had with you we did talk about it and you were expecting so I'm um, delivery of some buses and broken down. Some of the BRT buses are broken down. So what has been done about this and what should we expect from tomorrow? Okay. Actually, look, they said every crisis presents an opportunity. Yes. So when we realized we're going to be shut down, actually during the shutdown, what we did was we camped about three, 200 uh, mechanics in our yard. We were feeding them and you know, they, they were there throughout all the shutdown. So we've been able to revamp lots of buses. We're working on them. They, the commuters will see big uh, changes okay. in our buses. So that's why I said we're going to put 320 buses on the road tomorrow. If need be, we can put up to about 350, 360 buses on the road you know, if, if, as, as needed. So we are ready. Okay, would, would there be a situation still as a way of making sure people don't come into contact with one another? We did talk about it some time ago also on, on, on the radio show where people can buy their tickets and it can last them for as long as a week or two. Are, are you weighing that option now? Uh, that's why. Instead of daily 
ticketing. That's why I said every, you know, we're going to start encouraging people to use cards. Okay. With the cards, you can load online, you can load at, on ATMs, you can load uh, via your phones. And once you load it, you can put one week, one month, whatever you want to put on it. So you don't even have to do any uh, buying of tickets anymore. So okay. we're going to strongly encourage that from tomorrow. Okay. We're going to try and get as many people to start using cards, you know, from tomorrow. All right, great. Just before I let you go this afternoon, because I know you're a very busy man now. One thing you should let Lagosians know from tomorrow, those who will be patronizing the BRT buses from tomorrow, just put it out there and let them know and the cooperation you need from them, because like you rightly said, we all need to take individual and corporate responsibility mm -hmm. for social distancing at this point in time. The most important thing I want commuters to do is to be patient. Because putting 20 people on the bus that's supposed, that normally takes about 70, you know, it's going to create a little problem for us tomorrow. And it's new to, uh, to them, it's new to us. So there's going to be some uh, teething uh, problems. But everybody just needs to be patient. We'll be there, we'll take everybody. But please be patient. I don't want to see people pushing and, uh, and uh, jostling and everything. Just be patient, we'll carry everybody. All right. Mr. Folatinibu, it's been a pleasure having you to join us on News Thank on the Hour. Much. Thank, Thank you very much. much.